身近に伝えるね君たちは今すぐ軍外走れ迷いを抱いて戦ってもあれには勝てないどうにかできる可能性があるとすればと判例判念君たちだけだやると思ってんだ走れるよ走れるしっかり捕まってろ次は私だなんてだって私が来た大丈夫だよだって俺たちにはニコがいるんだぜ Finally, finally, the symbol of peace, I am here, is actually here. I've been waiting for this episode since forever, because things are about to get wholesome as hell from this point on. Buckle up, because we kick off with one of those goosebump inducing moments. While Deku and Shigaraki are over there shaking each other's asses like it's a dance off, AFO's flying straight at them to enjoy the show. Meanwhile, our beloved half cold, half hot bastard and Mr. Marathon Runner are sprinting in like they're late for a 50% off sale. Then BAM! All Might swoops in out of nowhere, like a superhero Uber, and tells them, Nah, go handle Dobby, while dropping some cryptic secret on them like he's Yoda. Todoroki? Yeah, his brain takes a wrong turn to the east, but Marathon Runner? He gets it. Man straps a mask on Todoroki, suits up in full gear, and then, oh man, he goes beyond plus ultras ultra. Seriously. They take off like they're racing against time itself. And let me tell you, their speed was freaking insane. But wait. On the other side, All for One finally spots All Might. And guess what? Our boy All Might pulls out an Iron Man suit out of nowhere. He's like, all right, it's time to shake All for One's ass and show him how to flip night into day. And get this, he's also about to give All for One a taste of what it feels like when someone shoves their hand in your butt. I'm so hyped for this fight, but honestly, I'm even more pumped for the aftermath. But hey, no spoilers here. If you're just watching the anime, trust me, your mind is about to be blown. So, do yourself a favor, smash that like button and subscribe without hesitation, and get ready, because this next battle is about to get wholesome as fuck!